Prosecutors today rested their case in the trial of a man dubbed the pillowcase rapist after a string of terrifying sexual assaults in the 1980s. The victim who testified has waited decades to get justice. Local 10's Ian Margol is live with more on what happened in court today. Yeah, this is a case years, if not decades, really in the making. Today we learned a little bit more about how they linked the DNA in this case to Robert Kohler. Your Honor, state of Florida rests. The state has made their case against 63-year-old Robert Kohler. The man investigators say is the pillowcase rapist who attacked more than 40 women from South Miami to Deerfield Beach in the 80s. After the state rested, Kohler's attorneys tried to have the case thrown out, but the judge wasn't having it. The motion of the president put on each count is denied. Friday's proceedings started with investigators from Miami-Dade Police who, in 2020, followed Kohler to a Walmart to find something he touched in hopes of using it to test his DNA. We saw that the defendant had wiped the shopping cart with wipes, you know, a little canister of wipe that they had there cleaned the shopping bag and he had thrown it into a little trash area there. They grabbed that wipe and forensic analysts were able to get DNA off of it, which they then tested against a sample found in a victim back in the 80s. Then on Friday, right, as so Kohler now, watched on, now, the analyst now, told the jury that? those samples matched in that it was extremely unlikely to belong to anyone else. It was one in 89.85 billion. Okay, how many people are on planet Earth? Eight billion. So about how many planet Earths would you need, statistically speaking, before you would expect to see another person with that same DNA profile in the absence of an identical twin? Eleven planet Earths. So with the state resting this afternoon, it will now be the defense's turn to begin calling their witnesses. And at some point, Kohler is expected to take the stand in this case in his own defense. We will keep you posted every step of the way. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margle, Local 10 News.